ladies, am I the only one who feels like I get caught in this cycle, frankly, of being on my A game, feeling a sudden sense of clarity and motivation over life, career, relationships, anything, gets on their A game, keeps going at it, and all of a sudden feels like in instantaneously you have slipped into your shadows, you're exhausted, drained, feeling like you don't even know what you're supposed to do. Just basically feeling in this cycle of A game and no, I'm actually doing everything wrong. I'm in my shadows. There's a reason for this. And I've discovered today, I had the realization for myself that there is one planet in my chart that is the culprit for this behavior. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Isabel, your spiritual rebel friend. And today I wanted to talk specifically to women about what I like to now refer to as the demon in our chart. And I was in enticed is the word i guess to call it this because i had a realization this morning about this planet in my chart by listening to the gene keys actually and i realized that basically there's this point in my chart that reoccurringly comes up that is something i'm very enticed into doing into embodying but also in a way can easily express itself in, as a negative repercussion in my life and I think this is something a lot of other women potentially feel too. So I wanted to share basically this theory I have on the inner demon in our chart as women and how we can navigate this correctly. So if you're someone who feels like you get caught into cycles of motivation, inspiration, alignment, feeling sense of total clarity over yourself, your path, anything, a total sense of clarity that inspires you to act, but then you feel like all of a sudden you wake up and realize, I'm totally in my negative behavior. My negative beliefs are spiraling. I'm playing out my traumas, my wounds, my negative thought patterns. This video is for you. Now, before I dive in, if this video resonates for you, if you're interested in learning more about your unique personality type combination, then hit the link in the description below to book a reading. In these readings, they're one hour long and we dive deep into your unique personality type combination, including your Enneagram, Astrology, Myers-Briggs, and more. So book in the link in the description below. Also, if you find this interpretation interesting and you've been trying to learn how to interpret the stars yourself and see different ways that these planets, points, aspects play out in our life, then you're going to want to check out my master astrologer course, which is a astrology course that dives deep into everything you could possibly need to know about the stars so you can become your own master astrologer. So if you're wanting to learn to read the stars, whether that's the transits or read birth charts, birth chart wheels, be astrologers for other people, understand the stars more, whether you're new to astrology or advanced, this course is for you. So you can find out more information in the link in the description below, the Master Astrologer course, and you can purchase and enroll there. I would love to see you in there. If you are someone who wants to master the stars, learn more about astrology, this course is for you. Now, the demon in our chart. So what got me to this thought was that I've been listening to the Gene Keys more, which is a system developed by Richard Rudd, and I am frankly obsessed with it. I just published a video recently about the Gene Keys going into what I know so far about them. Again, I'm not an expert at them. I'm just learning the system. And basically the Gene Keys are a similar theory as a birth chart where you basically have different unique placements that affect different areas of your being and life potentially. And so the gene keys are similar. And I was reading about my Venus sequence today or listening because I was uh, listening to an audiobook, and I was telling my mom, oh my gosh, like it is crazy <laughs> to listen to my gene keys, learn about them, learn about my hologenetic profile and see how basically it can be summarized in a sense into my numerology a little bit, but also so much I see the themes of this one planet in my chart and how basically this planet in my chart is like my inner demon. And I call it a demon because, you know, the idea of like a demon, so to say, in my view, or the devil is something that we're tempted to do. You know, the devil tries to tempt us, so to say. And I'm not even a religious person, but I get that theme of it's a negative thing uh, that tries to entice us. You can see it also as um, like the Sith Lord, which is literally supposed to be a representation of the devil. 
negative powers that entice us to say, I'll come here. I know you want to try this. You'll have power. But then is of course, eventually you realize not positive. It drains your life force. It takes everything you love. And so I know this sounds kind of extreme, but stay with me here because I was listening, like I said, to my hologenetic profile and I was telling my mom, oh my God, this one planet in my chart, it reflects this so much. I can in a way see so much of these themes that are going in depth in my hologenetic profile and simply summarize it into this one placement in my chart. And it's basically my inner demon in the sense that it entices me. It wants to take the reins and it feels good when I embrace it but it quickly turns into a negative spiral where it takes all that motivation I have, all that inspiration, all that clarity, and it feels like a slow slip or descent into chaos. And it's so hard to catch and it happens so fast where it basically feels like I have so much clarity. It's like you're going 100 miles an hour uh, down a road and all of a sudden there's a sharp curve and you don't even realize you've run off the road. So. If that is a feeling that resonates for you, you probably want to look at this one area of your chart. And the area of your chart that I am referring to is your Mars. Now, I'm sure already you can hear that if you're familiar with astrology and go, well, yeah, Mars is masculine. I see that. But am I supposed to repress my Mars? No. There, it's just that we have to, I think, as women, navigate Mars very carefully. And as a society in general, we have a very twisted relationship with Mars which is the planet of action. And I'll dive into what that all is in a second. But given that we are in a world where we are valued as human doings, not human beings, I think primarily as women, and especially for those who are trying to practice manifestation, Mars is like our inner demon. So for me, my Mars is in Gemini. And before I dive into that, let's cover what Mars is really quick. Mars is the planet of action. It kind of goes hand in hand with Venus. Venus is the feminine, Mars is the masculine. Venus as feminine receives, Mars as masculine takes action. Venus is like the right brain where we are non-linear expression and uh, Mars is like the left brain linear uh, masculine where we see A equal, then B, then C, then D equals E. We get to the steps, we take the staircase and we get what we want. It is also, in a sense, can be associated with the solar plexus chakra, whereas Venus is the sacral chakra, which is at our navel. The solar plexus is where we take action. Most people tend to have overactive or misaligned imbalanced solar plexus chakras, given that we live in a world where we are asked to do so much. Simply put, the economy sucks in uh, for most people. And I say for most people because I do think it's still a matter of perception, which is kind of what this video is about. But because of that, we have to do so much. We run around, go get groceries, to eat healthy, to go to work, to work for our nine to five, to do our side hustle so then we can have more, to then try to make time with any relationship or go on dates, to then reach out to our mom and try to heal our trauma. We, it's just always doing things. And so with Mars being the planet of action, it rules how we take action. The sign it's in shows you how you take action or how you like to take action. It also, as a side note, refers to what we generally tend to be attracted to as women. So for me, my Mars is in Gemini, which is my little inner demon. I need to give it a little name, I feel like, to catch it more. Um, I think my my top candidate right now is Hammy from Over the Hedge, you know, who runs around and is freaking psychopathic because he has so much energy and so much excitement, but they can't just get him to slow down. That's my Mars in Gemini. And listening to my Gene Keys, I could see these themes. He, Richard Rudd really does elaborate it in much more depth, but I summarized it as my Mars in Gemini because my gift as a Mars in Gemini is that I have high mental capacity. I love to take action. I can work extremely fast. I'm very hands-on learner. I can do a lot really fast. My, and yet my struggle and my demon is that I seek stimulus. And so I think to summarize better, the reason Mars ends up being like a demon for us and how I've noticed, I think for me specifically, which you may resonate with, is that basically we get caught into the trap of, or I get caught into the trap of doing. 
I noticed for me, I get so excited to take action and I feel so good when I take action because it feels good in my solar plexus. We want to take action. I want to take action. People naturally want to embrace their solar plexus in some way or another. We have to have that chakra point. But what happens is that basically I get caught into a spiral of momentum that turns into I have to do instead of I want to do I have to do and so what the gene keys kind of showed me and reminded me is how much this is my demon point this Mars placement because basically I get inspired to act and so I put all this effort in and slowly it becomes so habitual that I slip into basically the feeling that I have to do it in order to attain anything and I can't stop acting when really what ends up happening is two as I'm embracing my Mars more and more and more it leaves less room for Venus because it kind of they are this yin and yang and so as women I think it's extremely important for us to be in our Venus because it is our feminine state along with our moon can help us with that too but venus really is about our, our divine feminine and i'm working on a workbook for this but i have not finished it and so if you want me to get this launched sooner just comment below and tell me to get off my butt and actually do this even though i'm talking about a video where i should do less but basically the more i embrace my mars the less space it leaves for my venus and so it turns into this it literally feels like a slipping into behavior and so if you feel like that struggle too of motivation into obligation, that's a good way to put it, motivation into obligation, then it might be that your Mars is taking the reins. And it's very easy for us nowadays to get slipped into our Mars because we think we have to do more constantly, especially with how overstimulated and unhappy of life most of us seem to live in the sense that we're not we don't have the opportunities that we want to have so look at your mars in your chart really quick while i'm talking and look at what sign it's in and if you have not watched my video series covering mars through the signs i highly recommend that you do because it'll give you an idea of how you tend to take action and what exactly that inner demon may be i'm going to give an exaggerated gesture to remember to put the flipping cards in because i always forget you can check out my video playlist here on Mars in the signs, but, but look at what sign your Mars is in. And once you do so, it'll give you indications into what this inner demon, so to say, may be. And think about potentially what is the motivation action that you want to take? Because that's what Mars does indicate. You know, I am inspired to act when I learn. Mars is in Gemini for me. I am inspired to act for the sake of stimulus. I need a lot of stimulus. And this general theory may be more true for me than other people just because I need so much stimulus as a Mars and Gemini. But overall, I think that maybe you will resonate with this too for the sake of there are masculine energy is a hard thing for us to navigate nowadays. It has to be very intentional in order to not make us human doings because I noticed for me the reason why this is in the end such an inner demon is that not only the dialogue of I have to do more, but it literally shuts off or cuts off the law of attraction or not in the sense that it literally cuts it off. It just starts to pick up on a signal. It messes with my manifestations because the more I think I have to do, the less I make myself open to receive. Quite literally, we have to be doing less or in a state at some point of non-doing in order to receive. And if we get caught in the trap of, I have to do more by being more in my Mars, then we cannot open ourselves up to receive. And that's what I've noticed for me is I get caught into this trap. It is so hard to be in my Venus and Taurus and truly believe I can just sit here and indulge and believe in my worth and I will get the results I want. As it is, I'm even living out my Mars in Gemini right now, making a video because I can't fully embody the fact that if I stop making videos or if I allow myself to just enjoy my morning, I will get the million subscribers I want, the 5,000 into my bank every month and the 10,000 in savings. I don't, I can't shut that off. It is so insanely hard. And at the same time, you know, Mars can be our benefit. So it, as long as it's navigated with intention, because we do still need to act, but we have to catch when we turn that into a dialogue of I have to. So 
for me and trying to catch as the gene keys talks about basically uh using my gift of invention and stimulus i'm so intellectual and i can take data and turn it into something creative such as a video or a crochet top and instead i have to create and then relax not create and keep forcing a boulder uphill and do more and be more and overthink things simply put i need to make space to relax so knowing my mars and going okay what is the positive expression of this and how can i create it a 50 50 split basically of my mars and my venus for you it might not literally be a 50 50 split i know for my sister she needs a lot more mars in her life but that doesn't mean there's no space for venus she just needs to still have creative time there has to be some space for venus whatever amount feels like for you how much do you need to make space to receive looking at your venus can help with that but also just simply analyzing what is my mars what is the positive expression of this what does this indicate i need to feel empowered in my solar plexus chakra and what does it mean my demonic my inner demon so to say is what is it tell me i have to do or when can i catch the behaviors of it saying i need to do more so maybe you notice that you get on a roll with your creative outlet and all of a sudden you turn it into well i need to be more practical if i want this to have this result then i really should do this that it will cut off the law of attraction maybe that's something you can notice but let me know in the comments below just what your mars is what you notice and i can give you more info on exactly what i mean uh, I would love to do, honestly, another video diving into this even more, maybe even just more practicality on how to be in your Venus in Mars. Let me know what you want to hear in the comments below. What is your Mars in? How do you notice it show up in your life? Where are you struggling? How do you not understand what I'm saying? Like, where do you want more insight? What is your Venus as well? Um, do you want more videos talking about balancing Venus and Mars? Do you want me to finally finish the Venus workbook I've been talking about for a year? let me know in the comments below and let me know if this is generally just something that resonates for you do you feel like your mars sign as a woman is your inner demon that tells you from a state of motivation that you want to do stuff but then it turns into defeat and it's all your negative behaviors and beliefs on everything you think you have to do let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the youtube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down astrology personality manifestation and more and if you want to learn more about your chart specifically how you can balance your venus your mars and the rest of your chart so you can live a life you love and manifest with ease then book a reading in the link in the description below if you're more of a self-learner and you want to learn to become your own astrologer then check out my astrology course the master astrologer in the link in the description below this is the most elaborate or not even elaborate but in-depth course i have seen on astrology not to toot my own horn i really do try to cover every single thing imaginable in depth but yet simplicity about astrology so that you can understand and become your own astrologer that's not me sharing my own personal interpretations it's teaching you everything you need to know to form your own interpretations read transits read charts and live a life of control and clarity if that all sounds great to you check out the master astrologer in the link in the description below once again my name is isabel thank you guys so much for watching this video and from my heart to yours namaste Thank you.